John Duncan's life is a captivating tapestry woven with artistic fervor, vibrant encounters, and a relentless pursuit of myth and beauty. Born in Dundee, Scotland in 1866, Duncan's early years were steeped in artistic curiosity rather than the family's cattle trade. His passion for the visual arts bloomed swiftly, illustrating cartoons for local magazines and later refining his skills at the Dundee School of Art. Venturing beyond his homeland, Duncan embarked on a transformative journey across Europe. In London, he honed his craft as a commercial illustrator before seeking artistic nourishment at prestigious academies on the continent. Immersed in the vibrant milieu of Antwerp Academy and the Dusseldorf Art Academy, under the tutelage of Charles Verla, Duncan's artistic spirit soared. Returning to Dundee in 1889, Duncan's art found a home in the Victoria Art Galleries, marking the genesis of his public recognition. His creative ingenuity thrived, fueled by commissions for portraits that sustained his artistic pursuits. Not merely confined to canvas, Duncan's vision stretched beyond traditional artistry, diving into the realms of mythology and folklore. The pivotal moment arrived in 1892 when Duncan's artistic odyssey led him to Edinburgh. Here, destiny intertwined his path with the eminent sociologist Patrick Geddes. United by a shared vision of the Celtic revival movement, Duncan painted captivating murals and became the principal artist for Geddes's visionary publication, The Evergreen. The magazine, a sanctuary of artistic expression, showcased Duncan's mastery in capturing mythical narratives, entwining threads of Bacchus and Salinas into breathtaking visual stories. Not just content with wielding the brush, Duncan assumed the role of a mentor, shaping young talents and fostering Dundee's artistic resurgence. His collaborative endeavors birthed Dundee's first design collective, a melting pot of creativity where artists like Nell Baxter, Rosa Baxter, Elizabeth Burt, and his sister Jessie Westbrook contributed to a blossoming artistic scene. However, Duncan's quest for artistic fulfillment led him across the Atlantic to the Chicago Institute, an appointment fraught with discontent. Despite the unhappiness, Duncan returned to Edinburgh after Francis Wayland Parker's passing, finding solace in the city's embrace for the remainder of his life. As president of the Scottish Arts Club, Duncan left an indelible mark on Scotland's artistic landscape. His legacy, however, transcends titles and affiliations. The crowning jewel of his career, Mary Queen of Scots at Fotheringhay, immortalizes his genius and resilience. Painted in 1929 amid critical adversity, this masterpiece stands as a testament to Duncan's unwavering dedication to his craft. John Duncan's artistic legacy continues to flourish, a testament to his unwavering commitment to myth, beauty, and the relentless pursuit of artistic excellence. His brush strokes echo through time, captivating hearts and minds, beckoning us to immerse ourselves in the enchanting tapestry he painted with such fervor and passion.